The goal this week is to get. See, did anybody else get hurt? Oh, wow, turf toe. You may as well get the unluckiest player in the league to uh, me right now. See, does anybody else have any significant injuries like me in the league? I'm going to go through the injury report. Oh, broken ribs to Yannick Ngakwe. Only out three weeks. Still no injury above four weeks. Can you make see my stream parking? Hold on. Oh, Chandler Jones with a quad tear. Oh, only six weeks. I guess a broken fibula is more than a quad tear. Yeah, it's working. Oh, you got two injuries. Your right guard, yeah. Jawan Johnson. Unlucky only still years. amount to only about half of how long my one guy's supposed to be out. Yeah, I have the record for longest injury by 13 weeks. Who's second? Chandler Jones, four weeks. Actually, wait, no, I lied. Forgot about your guy, Juwan Johnson. Your P2 and longest yes, injury. Sir. Unluckiest players. I'd like to find some players that are unlucky as we are. Oh my god, you see who he's got returning to kick? <laughs> no, who is it? Take a guess. Raheem Shaheed! And he's gone! <laughs> what a guy. Wow. Yeah, I'm leaving the party. Cringe. Ain't no way. Your stream's lagging now. Turn that thing off. Cringe. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. They begin on the ground with Camara. And so down the numbers. There he goes. 30. 20. And finally, he's taken down at the 18. A big play there on the first play of the game. 57 yards on the ground. They had trouble stopping the run last week at a loss, and here it rears its ugly head early. You're supposed to try and get your confidence going after a loss like that where you gave up big yards running the football. This is not the way to go about it. It looks exactly as it did just a week ago. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Jameis to throw it. Escaping the pressure right, and he'll just get rid of it. Excellent recognition that none of his receivers were beating coverage and getting open, so he just threw that one away. They'll come back to the huddle, reset, and try something different. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Winston now. The pass caught by Alave. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, 
They want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. And that's Olave bringing in another one. Touchdown! Chris Olave, his second touchdown on the season. And the Saints drive it right down the field to score on their opening drive. Well, go ahead and strap in, partner. We, <laughs> less than two minutes in, had the score on the one side. A quick answer, though, to get the equalizer. Sometimes you get that sense of urgency that ratchets up, right? When you give up an early touchdown like that, you just know you're like, okay, how do we go back and equalize things? Can we get it done fast? And they absolutely did. Essentially, we're back to even, aren't we? So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Fielded right around the eight. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Right, Billy Jackson. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Good starting position for the Panthers as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They'll run it here. This is Deontay Foreman. Takes it to about the 37. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going, and then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Throwing on second and eight, Darnold. He's got his tight end. It's Tommy Tremble. And they're going to get this up to midfield. The well, first drive here and the first time that we've called the big tight end's name, but I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't, because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that will draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers are getting involved as this game goes on. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. The Panthers at 0-2 here to begin the season. And listen, they made their share of mistakes in these first two games, CD, but you know, talking with them in the days leading up to this one, it doesn't seem like they've lost any confidence. I would agree with that. And what they told us was that they weren't planning on making any drastic changes. They didn't see the need to shake things up. They were going to continue to plow ahead. They thought they had the right guys on the team and in the locker room. But they do have to start winning some games. Give them four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Throwing here on third down, Darnold. He's going to look deep for more. And this is caught inside the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. A very early momentum changer there. Actually a dream killer for the defense because they forced a third down. Felt like they had a good chance to get off the field defensively, and then they got hit with that big play. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Hubbard. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. Here's Foreman. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. They'll look to run with Hubbard. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. Gonzalez out now to try the Panther field goal. From the left hand, should be a fairly easy one here. Gonzalez's kick is good. And they bump the lead up to four now at 10-6. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? 
A PAT? That's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts? You really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game, but I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra injury. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them, but I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice, but at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. On second and nine, Winston. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that, but that would have been a big play. But he could not pull it in. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. Third down, Winston. And that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. It'll lead to a fourth down. Blake Gillikin on the punt now on fourth down. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. That'll go as a punt of 32 yards. And it will be the Panthers' ball, first and 10. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Give him 19 there as the drive marches forward. LaVisca Chanel, here's a name that a lot of teams league-wide have kept eyes on. Full of bit under the radar through his first two seasons, but he has produced 600 yards in each as a target eater. Not hard to see why the league remains high on him, especially when he makes catches like that. for Foreman and he will lose yardage back to the 34 yard line it was Cameron Jordan who came in and got him the running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half and I don't think it's all been his fault his offensive line hasn't given him much space a loss results there and on the left sideline he caught it but out of bounds according to the headlinesman incomplete so the ball a little late getting there and it's third down well, they went for all the marbles there on that long pass. He caught it, just couldn't stay in bounds. So difficult, isn't it? Because you have so many things you're going through on that play, trying to get open, trying to catch the ball, and still get your feet down to complete the process of the play. Not successful on that attempt. That's complete out right to the tight end, Tremble. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 12-yard line. The defense shaking their heads, not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. A play fake, and it's Darnold. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Chuba Hubbard, a 12-yard touchdown grab. 
as his guys are able to extend their lead. Well, we know he can run the ball. There he shows he has the ability to do a little bit more. That's what you call a complete player. A guy who can run it, catch it, probably can protect the passer when necessary, but his skills are best used when you get the ball in his hands. And that's the thing. When you've got an athlete like that, you want to get the ball to him in multiple ways, right? Without a doubt, because he often creates mismatches about who can cover him, whether he's coming out of the backfield or even lining up like a receiver. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. So give them two yards there on the completion, and that'll bring up second down. Now Winston. That's complete to John Ross. They'll give him four yards there. And they're going to face a third down. Well, I see you not in your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. First down carry, it's Camaro. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Second down, and it's Camaro again. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. 69 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Now that's the defense that they were looking for, being able to get extra bodies to the point of attack to deal with the big guy carrying the ball. You really don't want to be in a position where it's a one-on-one -on -one tackle with him. the pick up there and also a first down. Well, we've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. They run with a veteran of eight years now. It's Melvin Gordon, and he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Melvin Gordon, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Saints are back within a score. This time, the extra point up and good. And that'll make it 17-13. Will after the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback.
This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. For the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do, so I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant, keep throwing it around. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. Darnold from the gun. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Delano Hill. And the Saints are going to take possession of the football. It's almost like you can see the look of frustration on his face. Four interceptions last week. We talked about it all week. What did he do wrong? And another one here in the first half. And you can understand the frustration. You actually feel his pain a little bit. But the worst thing he can do is what you're seeing right now. Showing the other team that he's frustrated. Mm -hmm. All they're going to do is double their efforts to make him even more frustrated. He's got to gather himself, compose himself, and keep fighting. Well, he talked a lot about erasing that loss last week, getting back in the win column. We'll see how he responds. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Former first-rounder Derek Brown living up to the billing on that stop. Well, that's the big drawback to this play. Even if somehow the quarterback pitches it, he's not immune to the big hit. In this case, he kept it and absorbed it anyway. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Winston to throw it this time. Oh, he put it on the carpet, a fumble. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And his guys are going to take over at the 34-yard line. A little careless with the football, and he also had a fumble loss last week, didn't he? He certainly did, and when I'm watching him play, the one thing that comes to mind is always remember, traffic, turbulence, people around you, two hands. Get two hands on the ball. Grip it tight. I know it looks cool to have it in one hand. Put it away. Tuck it away because you've got to take care of the ball. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. They'll run with Foreman. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead them to third down. Well, that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving the running back a crease to run through. It has a nice job to hold them just a couple and force a third down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, Darnold. That caught by Tremble. And he is going to have a Panthers first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Alante Taylor. And the Saints are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, these defensive coaches, they sure like what they've got in this rookie corner. And with good reason, as you saw there. He only cost him a day two pick, and a lot of people thought he had first round ability. But when he was available on draft night, that was one where you didn't need the full time to make the selection. He called that pick in early, and he shows why he was so coveted with that interception there. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. They go play action. Winston. That is incomplete. Uh, the quarterback got away with one there. Looked like he was in line for a pick, but he still is not honestly to the turf.
incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Winston. And that's caught inside the 35. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Call that a gain of 38. A big march forward on the third down conversion. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Jameis now on first down. Looking for Ross again. He finds him again. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snapped. But what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, and ends up spilling it for a loss. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Ready. Behind the chain, second and 12. Here's Winston. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. I spent a lot of extra time preparing for this game watching this offensive line because they gave up five sacks last week in their loss. They just gave up another one now. They don't seem to be working together as a cohesive unit. Right? Four guys might have it right, but the fifth guy is getting... That is caught by Alave. Touchdown, New Orleans. A great play there. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Saints have moved out in front. Lux with the extra point, and that gives him a three-point lead. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And you figure, Charles, they have enough time here in the first half, more than a minute, to put a drive together, at least get them in position to try a field goal. Yeah, they've got all three timeouts. It's caught inside the 25. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And when you've thrown as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. That time, he made sure the only guy who was going to catch it was sitting in the third row. On second and ten, Darnold. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And he comes back with one complete. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Here's Darnold. Finding more on the out route for the completion. Touchdown, Panthers! D.J. Moore, a seven-yard touchdown ground. And the Panthers will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT, and that will make this a four-point game. 
out as the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And the ball banked way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Throwing again on second and ten. Winston going deep downfield for Ross. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. They gave it a shot in the deep pass, but it wasn't going to work there. And now there's less time for them to try and get three before the half. Let's see what they dial up on this next snap. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now Winston. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Certainly no lack of aggressiveness here. They were hoping for the home run play to get them six points. They're hoping for a catch, maybe a call. But they figure they can at least get into field goal range with a completion. And where will this be spotted? The side judge says it went out just across midfield. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando. That's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. This one taken just inside the 10. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. They find some open field here. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 136 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. Out to his left. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total. Carry. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Winston from the gun on third down. 
Open man is Michael Thomas. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively, but they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, Winston. There again is Thomas. They've gone to him a lot. Touchdown, Saints. Three touchdown passes now in the ball game for Jameis Winston. And the Saints have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Lutz good on the extra point, and that gives them a three-point lead. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Taken in at the three. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side, trying to match each other. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. Taken in at the 22. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. With the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field, Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. On second and a yard, Hill. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. That coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there, and how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, but when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? First down, Winston. He finds the speedster, Ross, that's complete. Touchdown, New Orleans! And yeah, boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. Yeah, this is a guy who runs with such balance and control. I mean, he went through that early contact just like he was driving over a speed bump. He's able to continue his way downfield and wind up in the end zone. And you can see the distance traveled there after the initial contact on the next-gen stats. This one fielded at the five. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every 
team that we ever talked to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I think it's pretty evident. We can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw, Darnold. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. This is taken around the 12. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And they will take over first and 10. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. That's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. He's able to knock that one away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing, Winston. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. Now you don't want to see that penalty at any point, but it adds a little extra to it when it comes on third down. It certainly does, because if this were a boxing match, they had them on the ropes there. Third down incompletion, fourth down upcoming. Instead, that mistake, Resets everything back to first down, which means they have to stay on the field longer to try and stop this drive. Well, the ball is out. Kamara fumbled it, and it's picked up by the Panthers. And he will not get all the way home, but he will take this back down to about the two-yard line. Hey, whatever happened to the days of just getting a fumble recovery? Everyone's into taking it the other way and trying to create points themselves, aren't they? Well, they are, and now a terrific opportunity inside the five. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. Deontay Foreman, his second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Panthers are able to capitalize on the forced fumble by turning it into six points. Gonzalez good on the extra point. And the lead is down to a field goal. The Carolina kick team is out there ready to go, and they kick this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. On second down, Kamara. 
And he'll be tackled at about the 35. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Here comes the Saints punter now as he's on to kick it away. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Panthers will take over now first and 10. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out, but I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. Meanwhile, Darnold's throw into the hands of the receiver, Chanel. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. On first down, it's Darnold. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Marshall. Two yards on the pickup there. And it'll be second down. Now Foreman, and he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. The Panthers on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and eight. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. Over the middle, complete into the hands of Trimble. And he is going to have the Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. On second and 12, Darnold over the middle. He's got Chanel. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. So they'll try to move the ball closer here on third down. A field goal from this spot would be just inside of 60 yards, 59 to be exact. And Marshall's got it! And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. And because of that speed, you have to respect it as a defender. So you have to either play off or make sure you're somehow in contact with him. And he's able to do exactly what you said. Use the speed to his advantage and go up and get the football. That's a big-time play right there. On second and seven, Darno. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Alante Taylor. There he goes, right side. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. A big play there by the rookie. An interception followed by the return for six points. If you want to be accepted by your teammates and coaching staff, make plays like that. Lux with the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback.
The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And we'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but still within striking distance. A two-score game with a good chunk of time on the clock. 48 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. Well, definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. To throw once more on second and 10. Darnold taking a shot here for Marshall. And at the seven yard line, the catch is made. Touchdown, Carolina! Terrace Marshall, 62 yards. And the Panthers have made it a one score game again here in the fourth. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Hill with a give to Camara on the option. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. Well, with the fumble he had earlier, we, we know how key keeping the football is here. That fumble earlier probably at the forefront of his mind. Just hold on to this thing. It's also at the forefront of the mind of the guys who are trying to get the ball from him. And since they've seen him drop it on the ground before, they're doing everything possible to have him do it again. They need that turnover. Again with Camara. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run it. Here's Gordon. And Gordon's going to be stopped short. Call it no game there, and it leads to a fourth down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Winston keeps it himself. But when you do call quarterback sneak, you don't mind if your quarterback's a little bit on the vertically challenged side, do you? Because he's just going to hide behind his big guys up front and be able to surge forward and pick up the first down. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game. You're in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts at early as opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. And for one of the few times here today, this one's not going to go anywhere. 
Actually, it's no gain on the play, and they'll remain a few inches shy of a first with third down looming. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. The battle in the trenches never more important than right now. This is third and inches. Winston now from the 50. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy, ready to roll, looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's throwing it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. That means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Darnold. There's Trimble, the tight end. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. It's a Carolina first down and a gain of 16. Darnold to throw. Complete to Deontay Foreman at running back. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. And he picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. Now Darnold. He's going to look deep for more. And this nearly intercepted. Probably should have been. Had he caught it, it would have sealed it. Instead, one more chance coming up on fourth down. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. They'll run for it. It's Hubbard. And they are going to stop him on fourth and one as they'll wind up going backwards. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield right at the 48. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. A man who's been busy this afternoon. It's Kamara again. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. 172 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. 